Hello everybody, welcome to Leet Wine TV. I'm your host Mark Fusco here for another episode. We're not reviewing the water. Anyway, it's going to be fun. Alright, so, um, I was going to do the reviews tomorrow being Tuesday, it's Monday night right now. I was going to do the reviews tomorrow, but I started. I decided I'll do the reviews today. So, uh, take it for what you will. We're going to have a little fun with uh, today's, well, M Wednesday's episode, which I'm recording today, and kind of Friday's episode. So, in response to uh, some stuff going on, I decided just to whip out the really good stuff. Here we go, folks. Oak Leaf Pinot Grigio Chenin Blanc. Oak Leaf Vineyards Pinot Grigio Chenin Blanc from California. Non-vintage. Amazingly enough, they actually have the breakdown in the back. Pinot Grigio, 51%. Chenin Blanc, 49%. $2.97 from your local Walmart. How's that for glorified grocery store brands? Anyway, um, after I bought a bunch of stuff from World Market, who um, I do not think is necessarily my mecca, but it's got wines that I tend to like better than, say, your regular grocery store brands, was at Walmart and just kind of on a whim thought, you know what, let's review it. Because who knows, we can't get two, two buck chuck here or three buck chuck or four buck chuck, depending on what part of the country you're in. Though um, I used to drink a lot of that because it was cheap and it wasn't half bad, but it's definitely not a 90 point wine. But I thought, why not? Let's get some oak leaf. Got a couple things here and there. So I uh, figured Pinot Grigio Chenin Blanc. Um, I seem to be on a Chenin Blanc kick. So I've uh, been having quite a few of those recently. So let's check it out. Let's see how it is. Just opened the wines. Uh, again, just came home. Just got home. Kind of like what most people do. Just get home from work and you just pop the bottle. So a little pop and pour action. Didn't really leave them open. But then again, remember, just because you open it for two hours doesn't mean that that surface area is really going to do that much to the wine to open it up. You're going to get more op you're going to get more to opening up the wine from having it in the glass and swirling it. Um, but if you leave it open for a while, say like you go to work, you open it before you go to work, come home 8, 10, 12 hours later, depending on how long your shift is, um, there will definitely be a difference in the wine. So we'll see. So not much actually from it. Um, you get like hints of citrus. Yeah, that's about it. But just hints of citrus. Uh, I was going to say there was some other kind of aroma coming through, but just kind of fake a little bit. Just like, um, I don't know. Not fake, but it just got mass produced. It just gives you that mass produced type of feeling from it. Like it's the same thing you'd get from everywhere else. Let's taste it. Maybe it's better. Wow. This is absolutely the best one I've ever had. It's got to be a 95 point or better. No. All right. Um, there, there's a little bit of sweetness to it. Um, it was pretty boring. It's a little bit of sweetness, but it, it's, it's pretty watery. It's about what I expected. I mean, come on, guys. $2.97. This is not like we're... It's not like I got a bottle of Petrus here. Okay, I mean, it is what it is. We, we review wines that are value wines here on this show. Typically 10 bucks or under. Hopefully I can increase that a little bit more occasionally. We're not talking three days a week, $20 bottles of wine. But maybe a couple times a month have a $15 or $20 bottle of wine. Um, now that I'm able to, to do that a little bit more. But, um, I mean, let's be honest. I mean, this is this is a wine you're going to get at Walmart. It's a Walmart brand in essence that, you know, they have like... Like, you know, Two Buck Chuck is exclusively at Trader Joe's. It's pretty much you're only going to find us at Walmart. If you want some wine, you want to save a lot of money, you don't have the, you don't have the, 
the money to be buying even ten dollar bottles of wine and, and, and that's cool because you know the economy isn't the best it still hasn't really turned around um you know if, if you just want some wine this is really kind of the level of a two buck chuck it really is it's 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 easy drinking it's not meant to be anything more than just you got some you got a wine that's gonna go down real easy especially if it's cold i mean there's really no acid to this thing it's pretty boring um, and I was not expecting it to be anything great. I was kind of hoping it might be a little surprising, but it's not. Um, so it, it's it's what you're going to find. So, I mean, for those of you out there that maybe you've been at the Walmart and you're looking at it going, two ninety seven, should I buy it? No. So that's what this show is also about. You know, if you're at the grocery store, at the supermarket, at World Market, at, you know, Costco, wherever else you can buy lots of wine, you know, readily available, not necessarily at your finer wine shops. Um, should you buy it? No, not at all. I'd say it's probably like a, I don't know. I mean, before I reviewed it, I said I was going to give it an 81. And uh, while well, that was really being very uh, hopeful, I don't know. Cue the price is right, horns. I'm going to say it's a 70. But it's three bucks, so what do you expect? I mean,. You can get three bottles of wine, three of these bottles for ten bucks, and uh, you're getting seventy to seventy-five point wine, and it's just there to drink. That's really about it. Um, that's going to be the show for today, and uh, I do appreciate all your comments. Uh, those of you that commented, oh, one thing, um, another comment from another show. Uh, somebody was asking uh, what I use on the iPhone because I don't think I mentioned the actual program. It's Bento. It's a database program. It's not necessarily a wine program or wine app. It's Bento. Uh, they also have a desktop application or de you know a version for the Mac, um, so you can sync it on the iPhone. So if you don't have a Mac, uh, I don't really know anything out there that you can sync with your iPhone that has they have an iPhone and a desktop app. But you know they have some wine templates. I just took one wine some someone's wine template and just expanded it for what I needed uh, for the show, especially because I you know added that you can do seven varietals because I knew there was a couple wines out there with seven. Haven't had a Chateau Neuf de Pop yet. So, and there's only a couple that use all 13 slash 15 of the varietals out there um, since there's actually a couple duplications. But, um, so that's what I use for desktop and all that. I didn't even start the timer, so I hope I'm under seven minutes. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Uh, Friday show. Uh, we'll be doing a wine from France um, and open it up tonight because we're having some steaks. I'm hoping it will go pretty well with that. Uh, remember, friend me up, leave me comments, emails. If you want to do a Skype interview with me with uh, Tasting Your Wine, let me know. I've got a couple people that are interested, so uh, there's growing interest in that. And um, check out uh, uh, The Broke Wino. He's become my newest Twitter friend. I'm going to check out his site a little bit more over the next couple days. Uh, give him a little bit of love. Go check him out. Uh, I've seen a couple things on there. Look pretty good. So another person out there looking to do some value wines. There's a lot of us out there because that's what the target is, and that's what the market that's that's what the market demands. So um, again, if you have any questions, email me. Uh, friend me up on Twitter. Friend me up on Facebook. Hit the fan page. I don't want to kind of ignore it. Um, click the links. Maybe you can buy some wine at wine.com or uh, what's the other one? I forgot the other one. Buy direct or something like that. We'll see everybody again on Friday.